the cave paintings of Tassili and Najer. Just outside the desert oasis of Janet, Algeria, there's a national park brimming with pieces of the past. A trip through the alien-like landscape of Tassili and Najer is like stepping into an open-air art gallery where the sandstone rock formations become canvases for more than 15,000 prehistoric carvings and paintings, was discovered first in 1910 and subsequently in the 1930s and 60s. Before we begin, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Tassili and Najer, which means Plateau of the Rivers, or some people say Tassili and Najer is a Tomahawk name meaning Plateau of the Ajer people, the name of the Kel Ajer group of tribes whose traditional territory was there. The magnificent Tassili and Najer mountain range can be easily reached from the beautiful town of Janet. Due to its location in the breathtaking desert regions of the country, the mountain range is mostly comprised of sandstone, allowing the Saharan winds to carve spectacular landforms and rock arches. The sandstone composition, however, has very good water holding features, allowing the vegetation to grow lush landscapes and woodlands that are home to Saharan myrtle and Saharan cypress, which are both endangered species known locally as taruts, one of the rarest plants on Earth. The Tassili cypress is an endemic species which only exists on the Tassili. It is also one of the oldest trees in the world after the barbed pine, Pinus aristata, in the USA. In addition to the living trees, there are 150 dead taruts on the Tassili. Most large animal species have disappeared, but Barbary sheep, mouflon, gazelle, hyrax, wildcats, and possibly cheetah are still present. In the Neolithic, when the Sahara was not yet a desert, men painted and engraved the rocky walls of Tassili and Najer. Animals, hunting scenes, or enigmatic ceremonies, these masterpieces did not reveal all their secrets. So how's the weather back to when the caves were painted? And what makes these paintings so special? A plateau in the central Sahara, the area is characterized by high cliffs, some of which have decorated panels at their base. Scholars and archaeologists have estimated the age of the rock paintings through various indirect methods, including excavations, faunal studies, climatic studies, depiction of types of weapons and chariots, and inscriptions. The age of the earliest images is contested, but scholars generally agree that they date from approximately 7,000 years ago. According to UNESCO, the park holds one of the world's most important clusters of prehistoric rock art. The paintings and carvings offer a fascinating look at the animal migrations, changes in climate, and human life that helped shape the area's history. The rock paintings at Tassili fall into a series of major styles that form a chronological sequence. Some of the earliest, known as the roundheads, thus describing their typical human forms, are followed by naturalistic Bovidian paintings which show numerous pastoral scenes with cattle and herdsmen with bows. The next phase is characterized by the more schematic figures of the so-called horse and camel periods made when the wheel first appeared about 3,000 years ago. Changing Climate and Human Responses The artwork is from the Neolithic period, back when this slice of the Sahara was a savanna teeming with wildlife like antelopes, giraffes, and crocodiles. You'll find images of these creatures etched or painted onto the rocks. Between the 12th and 7th centuries BP, before the present, Central Sahara's climate was moist, Rivers flowed out of the mountains into the surrounding plains, forming a mosaic of savanna and woodland interspersed by waterways and lakes. Wildlife was prolific and included elephant, rhinoceros, and hippopotamus, as well as numerous predators, giraffes and plains animals such as antelope and gazelle. Some 12,000 years before the present, hunter-gatherers, some of whom also fished, entered the area mainly from the south but also from the east, probably following the monsoon rains as they expanded northwards. You'll also find images of humans which act like a historical snapshot of daily life. In these, you'll see people doing a range of activities like dancing, hunting, or handling their livestock. Rock Art 
Researchers have cataloged over 5,000 cave paintings, even though they believe that there were many more in the past. These paintings made it clear that the Sahara region was completely different 4,000 to 6,000 years ago. It was a region overflowed with life. Regrettably, only 20% of them remain visible as the majority of these incredible cave paintings have been destroyed by erosion. Experts believe the cave paintings to be between 10,000 and 15,000 years old. Around 10,000 BC, ancient African people represented their everyday lives through the cave paintings among animals, plants. The ancient people also depicted strange beings that are unlike anything in the region. Most researchers accept the general order of art periods, but do not agree on time span or overlapping of dates. The following chronology has dates that may be amended in future years. Large wild fauna period, 12,000 BP to circa 6,000 BP. Roundhead period, 9,500 BP to circa 7,000 BP. Pastoral period, 7,200 plus BP to 3,000 BP and possibly later Horse and Libyan Warrior period, 3,200 BP to circa 1,000 BP. Cave paintings of Tassili and Najer depict mysterious creatures who appear like ancient astronauts with helmets, gloves, and strange suits. These are found in the Tassili Plateau, southern Algeria in the arid desert of the Sahara. According to many researchers and the ancient astronaut theory, the mysterious cave paintings of Tassili could prove to be the best evidence of extraterrestrial beings present on Earth in the distant past, and here comes the unsolved mystery about the origin of these paintings. These mysterious depictions have fueled debate among researchers. Why would they depict rivers, jungles, and animals native to the region in the past, and then depict something that they did not see, according to mainstream archaeology? the strange humanoid figures with helmets and suits. The ancient people of the Tassili Caves portrayed their everyday lives and their experiences. They did not invent these humanoid figures, which in some cases are even depicted with mysterious antennas on their helmets. Is it possible, as ancient astronaut theorists suggest, that the natives of the Tassili Caves depicted the ancient astronaut that visited them in the past 10,000 years ago? According to many researchers, it is a possibility. In 1976, a Spanish expedition traveled to the Sahara to investigate the mysterious cave paintings of Tassili. After analyzing the numerous cave paintings, the Spanish researchers concluded that extraterrestrial beings regularly visited Earth in the distant past and that extraterrestrial beings had regular contact with the ancient inhabitants of the region. According to them, one of the cave paintings illustrates several women being taken to a mysterious-looking craft. Next to some of the symbols, researchers have identified a set of symbols which has led experts to speculate that some sort of writing system existed in the area 5,000 years ago. This was something mainstream archaeology has a hard time accepting since it changes their official thesis suggesting that Mesopotamia is the cradle of civilization and writing. The mysterious beings with gloves, boots, and helmets are also seen in the Azyefu, Tin Tazari, and Sefar region. Many believe that the cave paintings of Tassili are evidence of beings who visited in the distant past. Sky beings who came to Earth thousands of years ago and left their mark in history through the stories and decisions of ancient civilizations worldwide. Although much of Tassili's art has been recorded, new sites will certainly be found. Even today, over 50 years after Henri Lot took his team into Tassili, much work remains to be done. Who painted the round heads, and can we ever learn what the art means?